is how people stand when they chip. And generally, they'll have their right foot square. They'll turn their left foot out, and they know they're supposed to aim slightly left of their target. Right. Okay, so basically what I do is I turn both my feet toward the target, the right foot being the important one. Because if I have a short chip shot, let's say I'm only going six or seven feet, and I leave this foot straight, and a lot of people keep their feet very close together. Okay, the tendency is this right knee just to go straight out. What I want to have happen is the lower part of my body work toward the target so the top part of my body can stay quiet. In doing that, I always ask people, I've hit a couple shots, I ask them how far do I, they choke down. And people, when you're give, showing a clinic, they're always watching the ball, not what you're doing. But in reality, I'm right on top of the club. This is a 60 degree wedge. I stand as tall as I can possibly stand. I can literally pick my right foot up because my weight is on the left side so that I can hit down and through the shot and have the chip go the way that I want to. I'm aiming again, like putting, I have my left hand, I'll aim to the left of the target, so my left hand has to stay strong and go out toward it. These are also, everything Everything we've actually mentioned so far tonight is actually in uh, your your video, Putt to Win, actually, which you can get on his website at davestockton.com. Sounds like a sales pitch, Ron. That was that's very good, actually. That was very okay. smooth. I've been basically, all night. basically what, what happens with the chipping is the posture is very important. The average person, you're, when you on the 14th hole, your posture will not be as good as it was on number one because you're going to get tired, like driving a car a long period of time. You'll start to bend down. I one of the last things I'll do with chipping is shake my shoulders, stay as tall as I can possibly stand, to the point that the club angle would be like this, not with my hands low, so the butt end of the club is hitting the ground. I want to keep it. I can get it off hard pan, any kind of lie, so that only the toe of the club is going to hit the ground and I can make the thing go right on the line that I want it to go. The other, the other thought which borders only talked about in creating shots, I make up my mind whether I'm gonna hit a high shot or a low shot, and I don't hit an in-between shot. Amateurs tend to be enamored with just hitting a half shot. You know, they don't know what, they weren't trying to hit it, they're just trying to get it up Yeah, there. most of the time you, you, somebody misses one and you ask them what kind of shots you were trying to hit, and, and you ask them high or low, and they're gonna go, well, not high and not low, and you you just tell them that's the reason they missed it. You've got to pick one shot or the other. Do you, Dave Jr., do you utilize the same type of approach in your game in terms of the posture, and if so, with every club that you may chip Stand with it. other than the sandwich? Yeah, well, absolutely. Yeah. Well, I have an eight iron here, and, I mean, obviously, Ronnie and I learned from Dad. He was our teacher, and, and on the chipping, we always turn our feet left like Dad says, but even, like, with an eight iron, if I'm going to hit a long chip, obviously this isn't long enough here, but I'm going to have my hands, I'm going to be as tall as I can be, and I'm going to keep my, I'm not going to forward press much. That's why I have an 8-iron. I don't need to forward press now. I can just kind of keep it neutral, but I'm not going to be breaking down. It's just going to be a push away. I'm going to push it back. I'm going to catch it out on the toe like that, and it'll get the ball on the green running, and I want it to roll like a putt. You also and notice, too, when, when we say we're going to stand tall or yeah. tall posture, if we get a camera angle, step up to this, Dave. See how close he actually is to this golf ball. I mean, yeah, there's, he's seven there's inches, six, seven not inches. a whole lot of room here between them. And he's my standing, hand, standing very upright, and my hands are still, you know, good four inches away from my body, so there's room for them to work because I'm staying tall. Wonderful. Well, we're going to get to the phones when we come back, gentlemen.